Welcome to Minecraft Maker. This is Theron, and today we're going to do a little uh, experiment. Um, I'm here in, in a creative world that uh, I started um, quite a while ago. Don't really use much. Have a little bit, and see there's a beacon over there, and a few things here and there. Um, but I want to play around with a couple things. So. Um, I have a couple of projects in mind that kind of require having a lot of cobblestone. Probably should use something other than cobblestone here. And, um, and I know that there are ways of, uh, cobblestone can be generated fairly easily. Um, for instance, let me place a block right there. No, not there. So what I want? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Bear with me for a moment. Okay, this should be obvious in a moment. Okay, I can actually go out there. That'll help. Okay. Uh, so I know that like when you run around underground and you have uh, you run into some lava like this. Oh, why is it doing that? Hmm. Lava is slow in the overworld. Okay, so if you're in, in, in a dungeon or underground and you come across a lava pool and you do, uh, and you pour some water on it, if the water hits the lava that's moving, um, you will turn it into cobblestone um, and if it hits water that is uh, not moving there's a source block uh, it will it will turn it into obsidian so okay I wanted to try something here I dug a hole if you place lava and it has a hole to flow down into normally it just flows down into the hole this spread is kind of weird. Don't understand that. Uh, but if we then pour water next to it, yeah, see, it'll turn the pillar of lava into cobblestone, which could be very helpful. Um, yeah. So I wanted to do some tests here. So today we're doing science. Um, so we don't want to place water directly on the source block, but if we place it next to or below, it should turn. Oh, it's so weird. Okay, this is not behaving as I expected, but well, that was weird. Um, but see, look at that. If we put it next to the top of the lava, oh, it's still flowing lava. So we'll turn that into cobblestone. So here's what I was thinking. I want to build some stuff. I want to build it really tall and I don't want to risk, um, you know, I don't want to risk falling to my death or burning myself up. I guess the burning isn't really an issue. But um, I was thinking that could work. I was thinking that it might be easy to pour p large pillars um, if. Oh, 
it might be easy to build lar large pillars if you use lava and water to make to make cobblestone so I was kind of wondering if it mattered the order in which it, it happened so let's try let's try something here I've got my little pillar now normally if you place water on the ground next to a hole it flows into the into the hole and nowhere else I thought lava did the same thing it does but when poured from above it spreads out before it has a chance to go down interesting okay so if I pour water from up here ah, uh, the water spreads out hmm now what happens if I pour lava onto this block here oh no 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 what happens if I pour lava from above the lava flows down creates stone oh that's even better oh but it messed up the okay so lava flowing onto a water source block creates stone water flowing water flowing onto moving lava creates cobblestone so if I created a form of some sort let's grab some dirt as we wait for the okay let's Go do this over here oh wait okay so one thing I imagined was imagine that building a big platform way up in the air and then I walk out to the edge and turn around and say hey look I've got an edge here and I can place some gravel against it the gravel will fall right now can I make a little tube out of the gravel what would be the easiest way of doing that um, oh I can do this over here and then if I get rid of this block I can do it here. And then this block, now I have a tube of gravel. And if I put water in the top here, take, oh shoot. Does this all become source blocks? Oh, that would have been easier to test. No, it does not. Drat. Okay, here we go. So what happens if I get rid of this? place here make a two wide top uh, let's get rid of you <sighs> okay my aim not so good okay and then if I go and Step over on the gravel here, get rid of this block and place down. Okay, so now if I place lava on one side, what happens? It goes straight down now. Drat. If I place water here. What happened there? Uh, creates one cobble. <laughs> it doesn't help. What if I place the water first? No, then we know what happens there. So what happens if we place the water 
Okay, let's get getting annoying. I don't have a good way of forcing the water to go straight down, do I? If I dig a hole there and place the water here, it's going to spread out. It doesn't help. Because then if I place lava here, it doesn't work. Okay. But if I have a pillar of. <laughs> okay, so if I have a pillar of gravel like this, or two, and the, the lava goes down, spreads out, and if I put water on it here, it will turn all that into cobblestone, including the spread. Interesting. And if I very carefully step over here, I can do the same thing here, right? Nice. Okay, so now I have a cobblestone base and two pillars of cobblestone where I didn't have cobblestone. That's pretty cool. So that could work. Now, I have lava sitting at the top here. Oh, I even get my lava back. Cool. So now the question is, what happens when you do this out over water? Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to do a little, little test here. And uh, we're going to extend the dirt. Come on. Come on. Okay, so now we're out over water. So here, I, I can drop a, a bunch of gravel just by placing it against here and go all the way down to the bottom of the, of the water, you know, the ocean or the lake or wherever we are, and give me a, a pillar that I can start working with. Okay. And then if we place the lava here, what happens? I know it'll go down, it'll start to spread out, but what happens when it hits the water? I see this in the world naturally and the lava seems to spread out and it's quite pretty looking. Oh. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, this could be awesome. Okay, hang on a second. Let's uh, scoop this up. And so we can go down and see what's going on under the water. <gasps> we get stone. <sighs> we get a little stone island. This is slow. So now everyone recommends that you build mob farms or large projects like this out of the ocean to minimize the uh, nearby spawning. One of the challenges is always how you build a foundation for it. And look, we have a foundation or the start of one. Look at that, we have a little stone island in the midst of a little gravel island, but hey, our gravel pillar. And that goes all the way down. Oh, interesting. Yeah. 
comes off this side. Yeah, there we go. That could be very cool. Okay, so let's let's try this. Let's swing out this way a little bit. So what happens if we pour water down the side? Obviously, they'll just water fall down into the into the ocean. Okay, but what happens if we then put lava down the side? Oh, interesting. Um, let's. Build out another. Let's try it here. Cobblestone. Oops. I'm burning. Oh no. No, it doesn't uh doesn't take exactly. Oh, where it's would spread out into the water. Yeah. Interesting. But if we want to turn that into a tower of cobblestone, we could then place water to the side. So the order does seem to matter. back and I guess we get our water back too so here we get uh, we have two cobblestone pillars for free that's pretty cool so if you organize it correctly oh so if we if we take our dirt and we go and pop out here and we say I want to add another one here I replace my lava <laughs> wait for that to waterfall down And I get a nice water level platform out of stone as a uh, as a benefit. And then I put lava, uh, water here. Get another pillar there. But that's I actually wanted the other one. Okay, let's scoop those up. So say I want one out here. What do I have to do? I want the I want the lava to okay, so I place I can place block of dirt here place the lava here okay and the lava is going to spread and no that's not what I wanted hang on scoop And this isn't that high, but I think this will work from any height. 
So if you wanted to build a structure that was, you know, 100 blocks tall out over the ocean, all you have to do is build a path out there, pillar up to the height you want, and then you, uh, you could make as much stone and cobblestone as you like. Okay, the lava's almost receded. So I placed the lava here. Yeah, this will work. Place the lava here, and it'll spread out into the space next to it. Go, okay, this is going to work. And I place my water here. So you need to place the lava next to where you want it, and you need to be able to place... Oh, you need to be able to place the water and the lava next to where you want the pillar. So I place the water here. And I get a pillar of cobblestone out of that. Nice. Pick up the water, pick up the lava. Nice, okay. So then if I want to put one... Let's see, I want to put another one. Oops, I stop it. Um, I want to put another one here. Or say, yeah, here, let's make this symmetrical. So I need to place the water, place the lava here. And spread out, and place the water right here. And I'll make a column of cobblestone right there. It's pretty slick. I want to come back and put another one right here. I need to be able to. Okay, if I put lava down here, I'll spread out here. Now let's try it. So the question is can I put the water here and still get the effect I want? I think so. I think they, the two of them just have to be adjacent, the two water and lava sources have to be adjacent to where you want the pillar. Yep, there we go. This is pretty cool. It's like pouring concrete. How large buildings and dams are made. All right, and then if I want another one here, I can get rid of this, pour the lava pour the lava here, and pour the water next right here. And of course, all this dirt comes out after we're done. Oh, a nice diamond shaped uh, water goes there. And there's our cobblestone going down. And we'll get a lot of extra stuff down at the base, but we may want to build up the base anyway, so that could work just fine. Scoop, scoop. And then the next one needs to go right here. So we pour the lava here. And the water here. <laughs> Give the lava down below a moment to recede. Uh, maybe. Scoop and scoop. See what happened. Oh, that's right. I laid out two things. So let's go. Oh, okay. I, I did get some extra cobblestone here. But I got what I wanted. So if I take out this pillar, which was excess to start with. 
Oh wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't quite work. Oh, because of the extra lava, I wasn't patient enough. So we could just we could always just fill it out like this. take out our access dirt and there we go cobblestone pillar plus uh, some excess at the base we have a two layer base here we have a uh, stone stone down here which is cool and the uh, cobblestone spread out a little bit which we can always clean up if we want or keep I'm not particularly fond of the way cobblestone looks in buildings. I think it's a little too um, rough looking. So you could always go then at a later time, reskin the outside with uh, stone or whatever you like. missed a couple again just because I was still figuring out what to do all right so this is pretty cool um, so I have plans for building something I need a uh, large structures for out in the middle of the ocean and I was worried about how I was gonna get a platform down and uh, the answer is easy I don't have to worry <laughs> it, it kind of builds itself so uh, so I think we're good and uh, this is a good way of, of doing it so I didn't forget this whole gravel bit. It's uh, not necessary. And uh, yeah. We can then get rid of our, uh, our dirt bridge. And then from the shore, hey, that looks pretty good. And then we can come up here, we can place ladders or whatever, and build out whatever we want. And it's all free. <laughs> um, you know, you end up with plenty of cobblestone in the course of uh, building out the uh, mining and whatnot, of course. But what happens if... Interesting. Um, and you build out, you know, you end up with a, a ton of cobblestone over the course of uh, mining and digging and, and whatnot. But uh, it seems like you have enough. And I prefer at least skinning things with uh, with stone, or stone bricks. Some form of stone. Um, and that's a little on the expensive side because you got to smelt it unless you have a, a silk touch pick with unbreaking or something. Um, yeah. So, and here's what I'm thinking I'm, I'm filling up this to sort of evacuate all the water out. If you wanted this to, to be a pillar down to the bottom of the the ocean you could just use gravel to uh, get rid of the water and then clear out the gravel and then you have a, a tube not only a pillar that goes up from the ocean but you have a tube that goes down to the bottom of the ocean which I guess could be helpful depending what you're trying to do Okay, now I can't dig out, if I dig down here, of course, I get back to water. So you could build the cobblestone as a form, and then use the, oops, and then 
use the gravel to evacuate the water and look dirt we're at the bottom of the ocean here and uh, oh, oh, oh clay okay interesting so if you built if you poured your cobblestone as a form a couple sizes too bigger than what you wanted and then uh, then did a were able to do a inner layer of gravel or do all the, the gravel inside the entire thing and then you could work your way down the center of the gravel and place your final pillar if that's what you wanted to do um, and you might even be able to if this were bigger I could actually pour more cobblestone down the center after evacuating the water but uh, okay that uh, that's pretty cool so anyway that was my little experiment and uh, that works I think pretty well and uh, I knew that in theory something like this should be possible but didn't uh, didn't know the mechanics of it so that uh, I will be using that in a future project that I plan to get started somewhat soon um, I just need to figure out where to do it and now I know how to do it so anyway thank you for watching um, and uh, check back later subscribe to the channel if you want to see how I use this going forward and uh, yeah so I will see you next time thank you for watching